Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. This is our 2022 Subaru Outback Limited. So one step under the absolutely fully loaded Premier model in that ice silver metallic. So they say it's ice silver is it's got a little tinge of blue to it. It's not that flat silver that you would expect or what people imagine when you say silver. Kind of hard to see on the camera. It looks much better in person. You can get that blue tinge. 18 inch alloy wheels. Now this one happened to be one of our short term lease rental buybacks with Enterprise. So it has just under 20,000 kilometers on it. Excellent condition. At the back here in the black plastic bumper, you have those little black circles. Those are the backup sensors. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one kilometer an hour and 15 kilometers an hour. Great for parking lots, Costco, Superstore, Walmart, the like. Power lift gate. Now the Outback does have a proximity gate. You can block the logo and it'll pop up. Won't work while the vehicle's running. I've got it warming up as it is a little chilly out. Lots of room in the back of the Outback. They've made the width longer than the previous generation. It's taller. The depth is about the same, but it's more than the Forester. Now we have grocery bag hooks that fold down. I thought they were kind of gimmicky. They work really, really well at securing your bag so your apples don't go crashing around, whatever you have in your groceries. We've got a little storage cubby, a 12 volt outlet for any charging needs. And underneath the cargo mat here, we've got our spare tire equipment and underneath this middle tray here is where the spare tire is. Now, if you need to fold the seats down, we've got the handles, pull the handle, seat goes down. Handle right there is for the passenger side. You can actually lock everything from here so it'll close the door and lock so you don't have to fish your keys out of your bag or your pocket, but since it's running, we can't do that. In the second row, with this seat up room for three people even taller people fit lots of headroom good legroom in these now the limited is leather and is perforated black leather charcoal leather whatever you want to call it the outer two seats are heated high and low settings for both two usb ports keep everyone connected we've got vents out of the center console in addition to under the each rear or underneath each front seat facing rearwards so you can heat up and cool down the interior in the second row faster. Now, all of the Outbacks, with the exception of the Wilderness, have these roof racks with the built-in crossbars. If it's not frozen, and this one looks like it's frozen, you would normally lift this, it would pop out, you would flip it across, and the other side would come over. But that's the only downside to them is sometimes they freeze. And the ends are actually used as tie-downs. So there's, they've changed it. Normally it was, the tie down was on the inside here. That's not the case. They made it easier to access. We've got power windows, locks, mirrors, as you'd expect. Two position memory settings for your power seat. So if there's two drivers who sit differently, easier to program that, that to each driver. Now it will not remember your lumbar support level, nor will it remember your manual adjustment thigh extender, which I thought was kind of goofy, but it's kind of like sitting in a lazy boy when you have that. Very, very comfortable. The Limited is also the first trim level that comes with the Harman Kardon audio system. So really nice audio system. Left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume and the calls and the music. Right-hand side has our adaptive cruise. And that's where you get to follow the vehicle behind you at a set distance. You get to choose between one and four bars. Four bars is the maximum. And that is approximately 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you. Great for highway trips. Underneath that, we've got our lane centering. So above 60 kilometers an hour, if the two color eyesight, eyesight stereo cameras can see the road lines, it'll illuminate whichever side it can see in white. And then it'll actually give you gentle steering input to keep you in the middle of your lane. Very, very handy. The all important heated steering wheel, which I have going, because yeah, it, according to the thermometer, negative 10 degrees Celsius. So the steering wheel is a little cooled, but it heats kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands. It does not heat between the seams. Subaru is all about safety. And I guess they're trying to enforce that 10 and two driving. Easy enough to turn all this safety tech off. Up here, this little black screen, that's part of the driver focus camera system. So you scan your face in, it'll do your memory position seating based off your face, but it'll also tell you if you're distracted, not paying attention to the road. It's a pretty cool system. You can see the little red light there I'm trying to scan my face, but since I'm not in it, it won't do it. Now we have an absolutely massive 11.6 inch touchscreen, kind of broken into three parts. We have this top part 
gives you different pieces of information. You can change these widgets around. You can put water temp, oil temp, you can put ca uh, calendar there. You got a couple blank ones if you're not doing something at the moment, but th that's where you'd put on X mode, which is like four by four low in a pickup. The center of this screen, the main radio screen, does our navigation. Radio, media, you've got your apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, lots of options. When you put it in reverse, and I'm gonna put it in reverse, you'll notice the mirror tilts down so you can see the line. So you can make sure you're backing up within the line if you can't clearly see from the awesome backup camera here. Now, you can see rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on. As I turn the wheel, those orange lines move, show you where you're gonna end up with the wheel turned like that. And you can actually clean the backup camera which is something that I thought was super cool. That is only in the Forester and the Outback right now, to my knowledge. See, wants to register me in for the driver monitoring system. Now, climate control is kind of in the bottom, your heated seats. You do have physical buttons on either side for the dual zone, but if you want to use the touchscreen, you press it, it brings it up. I want to change it to that. Or you can press the button. That's also where we do our heated seats, three stages, and that's where I would sync it. So if the passenger had it, a little lower, we'll say down there, and they get out. I just hit sync and it goes back to high there as well. We've got a wireless charger if your phone's compatible. It's white right now saying that it's ready. It will go blue if you put a device in there that is wireless charging compatible. Parking brakes are electronic. Pull up to turn it on. My foot is not on the brake and I push down, it doesn't go off. I do it again, it says depress the brake. So foot on the brake, push down. There you go. In addition to the wireless charger, you got two USB ports for music listening or charging, an auxiliary for music listening. It is an automatic transmission. You can put it in manual mode and use the upshift or downshift paddle to select your own gear. And it tells you what gear you're in the bottom left there. So it says first, and I can start in second. It'll, it won't let me start off in sixth, so you are kind of limited to what gear you can use based on your speed. My favorite feature ever in any vehicle, auto dimming rear view mirror. So there's no switch to flick if someone's got their high beams on behind you, just automatically dims based off of a light sensor. Your side mirrors are also auto dimming. Awesome feature. Now the home link system, and if the camera will focus on it, that allows you to hook up to three separate garage doors to the mirror so you don't have to carry a bulky opener with you. Very, very handy. Up top we have our sunglass storage. You get your connected services, SOS and concierge slash roadside button. And then you have your sunroof control. So it is a tilt and slide regular size sunroof. So that's a brief overview of the 2022 Subaru Outback Limited. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specials from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.